Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, on today's video, we're gonna do a little debrief here on the Super 88, the standout mower from Hustler Turf, and the Hyperdrive, the other zero turn 60 inch mower from Hustler Turf. Let's check it out. All right guys, well if you're new to the channel, my channel is all about helping you guys grow a more successful lawn and landscape business so you guys can go out there and crush it. And we do that with reviews, how to's, product demos, so on and so forth, and then today, we're gonna be wrapping up a six week video series and demo that we've been doing with Hustler Turf. I wanna do a little walk around here and show it with you guys uh, just our experience with the mowers, uh, what we've experienced with them the last six weeks, mowing wet grass, tall grass, short grass, the season's wrapping up, and what a fun demo it's been. In fact, I just was at our live event here about two days ago at the time of this recording, and two young guys came running up to us and they said they were so glad to see the Hustler Turf demo because they have the Super Z, but not the one with the hyperdrive and they wanted to hear our thoughts and how we enjoyed the demo. So without further ado, let's walk around, show you guys a little bit about this equipment and just what our thoughts are over the last six weeks. By the way, we'll leave a whole playlist here if you guys wanna check out the mowers, the demo videos, mowing tall grass and also mowing wide open acreage on my personal property. Now, the first mower we have here is the Hustler Super Z Hyperdrive, a little debrief here. I like the seats, the ride comfort is top notch. I love the padded armrest, something that I think all mowers should come with, not everyone does. I, I'm thankful that they have the ISO mount style seat, not the one with the bladder, less things to go wrong, but overall just a nice, smooth, comfortable seat and a smooth, comfortable ride. Speaking of which, you wanna talk about one of the smoothest rides that we have in the entire lineup of mowers that we've ever, uh, ever demoed, the slipper piston pump hydro system here with the Hustler mowers, absolutely one of my favorite designs. I will tell you guys what, you guys can see that we've been using this thing, we gotta keep this clean, uh, full of leaves. Hopefully as we drop off the demo, they don't uh, rake me over the coals. I apologize for not giving it a power wash before we give it back to our guy John, right? But I will say this, the hyperdrive, the, uh, the hydros, absolutely the smoothest mower we've ever used. If you've never tried one, you've got to go demo one, whether it's at GIE or your nearest dealer. Let me know what you guys think about the uh, uh, hyperdrive system. Absolutely incredible uh, setup there. Now, one thing that I've said many, many times before, and both of these mowers have the 37 EFI Vanguard engine. Absolutely one of my favorite engines, and these both have the optional oil guard system. Let's do another quick little pan here with the camera. Sorry about the wind. We're having one of those kind of days up here in Michigan. 37 horsepower EFI engine, plenty of horsepower. We saw absolutely no droop in the engine mowing any of our uh, grass the last six weeks on either mower. It was incre uh, incredible, it was impressive. No droop, nothing like that. Mow wet grass, tall grass, early morning, late afternoon. Just super buttery smooth. I mean, the whole setup, if I had to come down to one word, it was smooth. The engine, the hydros, absolutely loved all of it, okay? Uh, the heat, we've never felt any heat that was coming off. Some guys were concerned about, you know, the engine exhaust would come up here and go through the radiator fan or the radiator fan would pull it down. Didn't experience any of that. A Lot of airflow, as you guys can see, all the way through this mower. As you're moving forward, no real issues there. Uh, the one thing I personally had uh, a little bit of a knock on was the fuel switch. Uh, me personally, I'm not a big fan of having to switch between tanks. Uh, almost every time we would run the one saddlebag empty and then we have to switch to the other saddlebag. And I know some guys say, well, they like that because then they know that they're at one tank left. Uh, so they know they're halfway through the day. Um, but for me personally, I would have liked to see like a, a connection to have it just kind of spliced together. One single uh, fuel system with those being integrated with the fuel lines. That's just my opinion. I don't know, leave me some comments down below. Love to hear what you guys think. The engine control is pretty straightforward. PTO, you got the uh, fuel gauges, the throttle on off, any emergency lights for your uh, oil or emergencies or maintenance. Uh, pretty straightforward design here. Now, a couple things you guys are gonna wanna know a little bit more about, which is the deck and then also the cut quality. Cut quality, I give it a B plus A. There's no issue with it that we had. Uh, we weren't exactly mowing spring conditions necessarily uh, as we're going into October, but we were still having weekly growth and it cleaned it up right off the top. We didn't have any single issue. By the way, if you guys wanna talk about Stripe Game, uh, check out JC uh, Landscapes, those guys over there, I think in Pennsylvania. They mow in Stripe all day long with their Hustlers. Also my friend Dylan Stevenson with Solo Cuts Landscaping, he runs a Hustler mower. They Stripe really, really well. That being said, 
said, from the owner, uh, or for the uh, user uh, perspective, when you're up here on the mower, wasn't the biggest fan of the uh, deck cutting height adjust with the deck pin. Now, these circles, once you get used to it, they do make sense. Uh, but at a glance, you know, if I'm moving and I'm trying to adjust really quick, I'm like, oh, uh, was it three or four or two or 2.5? Which way does this go? And as you can see, it's not like it's one, two, three, four, five. It actually correlates not at all. There is no correlation to any of these strips other than you have to go diagonal. And some mowers it's diagonal, some mowers it's up and down. I guess over time you can get used to it but what 0.75 increments it's just kind of all over the place not bad not throwing it under the bus but honestly it's just hard to see sometimes when you're just running around and just looking for a quick deck uh, uh, adjust you're like which which way do i go i will say that the spring or the mechanism to raise and lower the deck it's actually pretty intuitive no complaints there at all super straightforward all right, uh, we didn't have to do obviously any oil changes, so I can't speak on that. We only ran about 20 hours on the unit. Tires nice, uh, nice and grip. The tires are nice and wide, extremely grippy, no issue there. And it's overall pretty solid mower if you guys are in the market for one. All right, without sounding too salesy, let me cover the Super 88 as well for you guys. Got some great debrief thoughts. This mower took us a few weeks to get used to it. I'll be honest with you guys. Um, it's a lot of mower. Okay, now, whether you use it for residential or commercial, if you need to mow down big acreage fast, you need to consider this mower. One guy, 88 inches, uh, I listened to one of the guys said, uh, it never shows up late, it's never drunk, it never got anybody pregnant over the weekend. I thought that was pretty funny. These kind of mowers, huge productivity when you can send one guy out to go start knocking down two, three plus acreage uh, sites. This is the way to go. All right, so check this out. So again, we got the 37 Vanguard on top. Did not feel underpowered at all. It was stout, it was clean, it was lean. Uh, it just hums. I'm telling you, the Hustlers have some smooth operating equipment. Now, to raise and lower the wings, I'm not gonna do it here right now. We did this on a couple different videos. But really simply, you got the deck height adjust here for the rolling wheel that goes with it. If you want to take the wing up and down, you just release on that latch, click this back in. And then same thing here, you pull this lever out to extend the uh, like handles that come up and down that gives you leverage as you raise and lower the wing. Now, uh, the middle deck does stripe the wings, not so much, at least not on our unit. Kind of curious to hear you guys' thoughts below if you got a Super Radiate. Uh, I think these have the mulching blades on them, so we're not seeing the high lift that we're used to. But again, it does stripe in the middle but it, we didn't get to see the stripe on the outside wing. So it's kind of throwing us off on some of those mowers uh, stripes when we were doing our big acreage field. But once we got used to it, it was actually cutting pretty nice. And I uh, was able to knock out our property, gosh, in a third or a half the time as a 60 inch, okay? Uh, fuel, never had any issue with running out of fuel. This is a big mower. I don't think you're going to be running this thing eight hours a day. If you're running this mower eight hours a day, you better be charging appropriately and you must be making a killing, okay? Uh, I don't know if it's three gallons on each side, maybe six or eight gallons each. Don't quote me. I, I, I hate quoting things because somebody always wants to correct me and that's fine. But I will say, this thing has enough fuel to go all day. And if you're mowing, you know, six, eight, 10, 20 acres a day with a mower like this, you are probably cleaning up pretty well. And for maybe 18 grand for this unit, if I'm not mistaken, uh, not a bad option or setup to send one guy out to knock down those kind of properties. Um, a couple things that I did not like about the mower, just to be honest with you, is this right here, this gap, uh, it's really hard to control this unit with one hand. Maybe I'm adjusting something, maybe I'm trying to pick up uh, a piece of who knows what, uh, I'm on my phone for a quick second, which I'm not endorsing, but I'm just saying. Um, I would have liked to see this clamp together, and you just can't, okay? This rod as well, not the most comfortable setup. It would have been nice to have it a little bit more swooped. Um, it's, it's squared off, my wrists kind of bend, as you guys can see. So it would have been nice to have this maybe a big arching swoop, something I'm a little bit more used to with other brands that we've demoed. Um, overall, great visibility though. You got your PTO, your start, you're up and down for the uh, for the main deck, which is electronically controlled with the, uh, the actuator. So up and down, it's a big, heavy, weighty, meaty deck. And then we got our throttle control here. Fuel gauges, everything's where you expect it to be. Great line of sight, parking brake. And you know what? Doesn't matter, even if it's 88 inches all the way around, you have great visibility on the mower, all right? 
So this is what I'm thinking so far. Um, solid, uh, solid unit. Had no complaints with it. Uh, it is a little bit uh, uh, bouncy. We might have to take a little PSI out of the tires. Uh, when we were on the platform, one issue that I had was every time we'd hit a big bump or a big divot, uh, we would kind of bounce on the platform. We'd lose the blades, have to engage, disengage, or vice versa to click those back on. Now, here's what I will say on the mower. Uh, again, I don't know if it's like a finishing mower toward the, to the tune of, are you gonna lay big stripes with this thing? Not necessarily, uh, but if you want to use it on residential properties, uh, absolutely you could use this. I just don't think you're gonna get the same uh, stripe action out of like a 60 inch, like the hyperdrive, as you are the Super 88. So at that point, I don't know if you're necessarily shopping for the stripes with a unit like this. You're probably looking for volume, productivity, uh, send a guy out to knock down a bunch of big sites, maybe uh, you know municipality, city lots, so on and so forth might be the option for you. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video series that we did here with Hustler Turf over the last six weeks. I thoroughly enjoyed doing the demo with them. If you guys wanna get a little bit of, uh, more info, go to hustlerturfequipment.com. You can also check them out at GIE Plus Expo, whether it's indoors or their outdoor demo booth. And then of course, check out your local Hustler dealer and try demoing one at the local level and see what you guys think. Guys, I'd love to hear your comments about the Hustler Turf equipment. It was a super fun demo and we had a lot of fun putting both of them to uh, use. Here's the last thing I'll say. If I had to sum up the whole Hustler Turf uh, equipment experience that we had over the last six weeks, one word would be smooth. They're just smooth operating equipment, smooth operating mowers. Uh, the slipper piston pump on the hyperdrive, the super smoothness of the Super 88, that's a lot of mower there. I think you guys would be really impressed if you guys demoed them for yourselves. So that's it for me. Big thumbs up on this video and the video series if you guys enjoyed it. We'll leave a little playlist here if you guys wanna check out more of these mowers here that we did on the channel over the last few weeks. But guys, that's it for me for right now. Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. We'll catch up with you guys on the next one.